Despite the claims made by anti-communists, particularly the ones made during my Defend North Korea Week videos, North Koreans have cellular phones. North Korea's Koryolink cellular phone provider has reported that it has reached 800,000 customers. These numbers have been confirmed by Koryolink's business partner. Koryolink is a joint venture between Egypt's Orsakon Telecom and the state-owned Korea Post and Telecom. So these numbers can be confirmed by someone outside North Korea. It lifted its 3G subscriber base by 170% in the last 12 months, ending in September. The network now consists of 453 base stations covering 94% of the population of roughly 24 million, Orsakon revealed in a quarterly report, but the network only covers 14% of the territory of North Korea. The joint venture increased its revenue for the third quarter by 125% year-on-year to $41.5 million, but this was only a fraction of Orsakon's total revenue for the quarter of $1.1 billion. Coriolink, the cell phone provider, began operations in December 2008, when the world was falling into the global collapse of capitalism. As Westerners were losing their homes and losing their cell phones due to non-payment, North Koreans were breaking into the cell phone market. It was in this May that their subscriber base hit half a million. This news completely debunks one of the new common lies about North Korea, in that they are supposedly do not allow citizens to own cell phones. This will hopefully go a long way towards dispelling some of the baseless lies perpetrated by anti-communists. They can just keep coming with more and more pathetic lies, and I will just keep destroying them.